Sisi is staying in a single room provided by the government in suburban Wuhan. She is a suspected case and is under quarantine for 14 days. Her mother was confirmed with coronavirus in mid-January. This contagion developed very fast. There were only 10 days between the time my mother got fever and I was told to prepare for the worst. Why choose us? I was very frustrated and kept crying. But I had to be strong and encouraged my mother about a beautiful life ahead to give her hope. When she was very uncomfortable and wanted to give up, I told her the truth that I also had symptoms. She should be my model, and we will fight the disease together. And she agreed. Hospital beds were limited. To avoid infection, Sissy chose to stay home alone and be an outpatient. But when her husband found she wasn't as well as she told him on the phone, he couldn't stay away anymore. When I returned home and saw my wife, I was shocked. She used to be very independent, but had become weaker. I was heartbroken and felt very guilty. I should have been with her before. She's a foodie, so I made nice meals for her and tried my best to give her strength and support. Family members, relatives, friends, and doctors make sure Sissy has regular meals, fruit, exercises, and even does her skincare regimen. She and her mother are getting better day by day. My mood has been up and down since January 22nd. I feel lucky we are still alive. There is no wonder drug to treat the disease so far. I think the wonder drugs are our willpower, love, and hope for the future. Her mother's recent test has shown an active result. For them, that's the power of love. And this year, on Sissy and her husband's 10th wedding anniversary, they plan to have a romantic celebration. Chen Zijian for CGTN from Wuhan.